welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. Um, today's Whip and Chat, I am going to be working on um, Lion Kingdom from Dreamer Designs. <laughs> I had a brain fart there for a second. Couldn't remember where I bought this one from. Anyways, this one's from Dreamer Designs. It is my first canvas of theirs that I've ever worked on. Um, and so far, so good. Like, I know I've heard a lot of, a lot of, th uh, all the things, I've heard a lot of things, um, about this company. And honestly, I felt like I had to try it for myself to really get like a good idea of, you know, of the company itself. So, um, I got this lion, which is the color for lion. And you can kind of see a little bit of his face, tell what it is, but... I got it because if you didn't know, my last name is Lion. And in high school, my nickname was Lion because of my hair. So then when I got married to, and changed my, you know, my last name is a Lion. My friends thought it was a, a it was a real kick for them. We'll say that. Uh, but today's Whip and Chat, I am not alone. So Maddie, Maddie's Hi. with me today. And, and we are going to, um, you know, we thought, okay, so... She, you guys have done a lot for for her when we've been raising this money and all of this stuff. And we've talked with her a little bit, but mainly when we talked with her the last time and, and the time that we're going to be talking to her soon with Crashly is basically about her diabetes and kind of the service stuff dog. she's gone through and all that kind of stuff and service dog. But we thought it might be kind of fun to have, you know, getting to know her better. So yeah, so we just thought it might be kind of fun for you guys to get to know her a little bit better, like, you know, just as a person, as a human being. Uh, so we came up with some questions that um, we're going to answer and both of us will answer them. It's kind of like a tag question, but not because they're not tag questions. We just came up with these questions. We thought, okay, well, you know, these are just little things about us. That way you can get to know both of us a little bit better. And um, she wanted to, you know, be kind of in control of those questions rather than just going and like finding a bunch of random questions. And believe me, I looked, I looked for stuff for like mom and me and like it was all like for older, you know, older people or people who had like kids that had YouTube channels and the, U the YouTuber brought their mom on the show. It was different than like a mom bringing a daughter on the show. It just didn't really work. So we came up with some questions that she has wrote down. So we're just going to kind of go through those questions and answer them for you. And um, we are still going to be doing the questions um, that you guys asked in the comments of one of the pop-up lives. Um, Maddie and Crashly, we are all going to sit down together and record that video and kind of go over all those questions for you at that time. So this is not that video, um, but we are still planning to do that video. We just haven't had a chance to record it quite yet, but it is coming up in the near future. Okay. So, yeah. So Maddie has, um, and I think I might throw some random questions in here too, by the way, if I think of them, you know, if I think it's something that might help you get to know her a little bit better, like, you know, things that have been going on lately and, and all that kind of stuff. And one of those things was, so today was my birthday and, um, she knows that my, you know, my husband, he just, he's just not, I don't know. Not a birthday type of guy. I guess not. Yeah. Um, he's never really done anything like today. I got a happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> and so I, um, yeah. So anyways, I don't really necessarily think about my birthdays, um, as being great or anything, um, special, I guess. I don't know, but she felt differently and decided she was going to spoil me today since nobody else was going to do it. And she woke me up this morning with French toast that she had made all by herself. Uh, she's been learning how and to... Sausage, and good. sausage, yes. She's been learning how to cook um, and bake with me. But we have never made French toast before. 
And so she just looked it up on how to make it and went to town. And That's what I didn't get vanilla. she couldn't get the vanilla. It's on like the very top shelf in our kitchen. So she, instead of waking me up to do it, she substituted it with, with uh, maple syrup, which I thought was a really good idea. It tastes better to me. It tasted it, it tasted really really good, and I was I was actually really surprised how good it tasted because, like I say, it I didn't teach her how to do that, and she just did it by herself. So yes, and all day it was a. Uh, do you need anything, mom? Can I do anything? Uh, what do you want? Do you need you know so? And then she even contacted some of my YouTube friends, um, and friends that like don't live in town, to get like. Things that she wrote out in her card, a card for me, and like it was from everybody, which was really, really cute and really, really sweet. And it, it surprised the heck out of me. And one of them is, um, uh, one of our friends that she's uh, 16, and her and Maddie actually get along pretty well. But, anyways, she calls me mom, and she has for a long time. And, and so Maddie, you know, had her say something. Anyways, it was just kind of funny because it said, what did it say? Something about... It said, um... Don't show up because my handwriting is bad. I won't show it. It says, um, I just think you are hella great. <laughs> so she, she crashly might have said hecka, but I kind of just, like, glimpsed at it. She probably then, did. Because... I don't, I don't know, I've, she probably did. Because hecka is our little joke now because... Yeah, I say hecka. I don't know which one she said, but I just looked at it and I didn't have it right by me while I read it, wrote it. Yeah, I'm good at English. Regardless, it was just funny because it said it said hella in the card, and I kind of point. I looked at her and I pointed at it, and she goes, "I didn't say that, mom." And I was like, "Oh!" And then that's when I got it because like I didn't it, it, see. It said like a dash Michaela, and then a dash, right, but I was very confused. <laughs> And yeah, it said Michaela, but Michaela calls me mom. So I was like, I, I, I don't know. I was just, con I was confused. You just woke okay. Up. I, and I had just woke up. So give me a break. But anyways, it was just kind of funny because I just looked at her like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> like, did you just say that? Because she don't say those words. Um, I, bar you, I barely bad. say those words. Mm, no, I wouldn't have been mad. I probably would have just said, you know. You don't need to say it, but, you know. Oh, no, I wouldn't have been mad. You know, it's hard to be mad. Like, one of the things that does irritate me is when parents cuss a lot, and then their kids cuss, and then they get mad at their kids. And it's like, well, you're doing it in front of them, and they're hearing it all the time. What do you expect? Um, I don't cuss all the time. So if my kids are cussing, you know, that, yeah, no, I don't cuss hardly ever. I make up other words. I... I just don't. I never have um, been a big cusser. I don't know why. It sounds like it's like forced <laughs> or something from me because I just, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I don't. I don't cuss very often, so. I mean, anyway. Yeah. But um, it, it was a really, it was a really good way, sweet way to kind of wake up. Sorry, I'm just measuring something really quickly. And my daughter is going to quit playing with that magnet. It's going to be annoying. Okay, so right. Okay. Um, anyways. Okay. We are going to get to the questions. Okay. You want me so, to first off, Mads, when's your birthday? April 21st. Ooh. And how old are you going to be? 11. 11. And I don't want to say 11. I'm old. I don't know why, but... And maybe it's just me. I don't know. 11 seems bigger. Than yeah, 11 time. seems... Well, 11 seems so much older than 10 to me. Like, I don't know why. It just, it does. It just seems. I feel like more of a pre-teen, kind of. Yeah, it seems really, I don't know. 10 isn't a big much deal to me. By the way, if you're looking at this and wondering why there's, like, all these spaces that I haven't filled in, I've been kind of on this, like, kick of, like, doing paintings in a new way. Like, Last time I did the whole painting, I did one color at a time, Bye. but only be, only because it was it worked for that painting. Otherwise, I and I wouldn't do that again. Probably I wouldn't recommend it either. But um, and then when I did like it in a spiral, like I went like started and like went you know in a spiral. Um, so I've been just doing them a little bit differently, and so this one, um, I'm going I'm I'm doing them kind of like by the strip, 
and I'm not doing the two AB colors that there is. There's two ABs, there's a green and uh, what was the other one? White, a green and a white. And I decided I'm gonna wait till the end. And at the very end, I'm gonna go back through and fill in all the AB colors. So uh, that's why if you, you know, see all these areas with, with emptiness is that's, that's why. Okay. Um, okay. So your questions, Maddie, do you wanna? Okay, the first one is favorite school subject. What's easy for me, spelling and writing. It's easy, it's fun, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay. What do you like the best about it? Like, why do you well, like I it? I also like, I think there's no, like, writing. I think there's no, like, spelling because it just comes naturally. Like, if you tell, if you say a word to me, I can kind of make up, like, the definition for it in my head. Like, if you use it in a sentence, I can understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And then I know the definition. So I'm, and then I'm pretty good at spelling because, like, She's the person we go to. Naturally. Yep. Like, I just think about how dumb the English language is, and there you go. <laughs> um, That's what and then do I it. like writing, so I can, like, one, I like creating, like, my own like, worlds and, like, things mm -hmm. like that, and creatures, and, like, things Care. that I can create that can't happen in real life. Yeah. Gives you kind of an escape from the real world. And, yeah, this girl, like, I want to say a year and a half ago... So, when she was in third grade, we gave her a fourth grade um, spelling bee test. And she got every single one. And we got to the word neighbor. And, and me and my friend, who was my boss, who also happened to be, used to be an elementary school teacher. We're both like, she's never going to get this. She won't get This one's going to be the one. This one's going to be the one that's going to stump her. And she just, like, hammered it out perfectly. And we were just like, This one's easy. Like, Whoa, a horse okay. maze. Yeah. And then burr. But still, know, most kids can't just know. spell that. But anyways, yeah, if I can't spell a word, I go to her. For some reason, you always forget squirrel. Squirrel? Yes. Squirrel is one of those that... It's S-Q. Every... So I know it's S-Q. But I never remember what's after that. Like, I don't know why. It's just one of those words that I cannot remember how to spell. So, yes, I do go to her. She is, like, my spelling person in the house. Because I forget how to spell, like, normal words sometimes. It's like, or I just forget the word in general. And I'll be like, what's, what's that word? Like, and I'll kind of describe what word I'm talking about. And she'll just, she'll just know. She's just good that way. So. And you also say, like, I think you said, like, chaotic once or, like, something like chaos or something. Yeah. And you were like, you know what that means? And I'm like, duh. Well, like, I think most kids my age, the only thing that kind of makes me think maybe most kids are only glass because I'm hanging out my, with my friends. They're like, huh? Yeah. So I'm like, well, I there's... don't know. I don't know what an average kid knows. Well, and there's a lot of times I'll say a word, and I'll say, do you understand what that means? And she'll be like, duh. And I'll be like, no, not duh. Most kids don't know that. what that means. I'm trying to make sure you do. And she just, she just has, she just has a really big vocabulary, so it doesn't surprise me that those are her favorite. I think the biggest validation I've ever gotten that I had a good vocabulary is I had the, so you know when they start... I think it's like third grade. At the end, like two o'clock, they'll send you to a different teacher and they focus on one subject. Mm -hmm. And she was math, but she was super strict, probably the strictest teacher I'd had. Which is kind of weird because the first one was like very lenient. Like, no matter what you did, she's kind of like, eh, don't do that. And then you go upstairs and she's like, you just sneezed in my classroom. Get out. So, Who was, was that? It was weird. Um, I can't remember her name. She was strict, but I still really liked her because she was really, like, otherwise she was nice, and we had a lot of things in common, actually. Mm -hmm. She did math, and I don't like math. But anyway, they no, were doing a, they gave, they gave you this thing, the mascot for school is like a cougar, and then you, like, write inside of it, like, words that you think describes, like, the people in the school. And I think I put, like, dauntless and selfless or something, and she 
Like, she, the one that's, like, always, like, not, no, bad, uh, said it was good. And that she, like, and I had a big vocabulary, and I was like, wow, I yep. did it. She does have a big, big wow. vocabulary. She does, she'll, she'll, yeah. It's, it's, she just blows me away sometimes with her vocabulary. But, you know, she hates math, and she thinks she's, like, so bad at it. But honestly, like, she does it all the time and doesn't even realize it. Like, with her blood sugar, she's got to, like, convert how much insulin versus how much, like, what her blood sugar is versus how many carbs she ate. It's all math. It, she just doesn't seem to, like, get that it's, that it, she's doing math all the time. Okay, now your turn. So, okay. Um, you didn't, I gave you my questions. I, you wrote them down. Yeah, but what's your favorite subject? Oh, my favorite subject. Oh, okay. My favorite subject definitely was, like, creative writing in high school. Um, I took creative writing three times, I think. And... I, I don't know, I just loved the freedom, I think, of it. Like, it didn't have to be any, it didn't have to go, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, a certain, like a... in a structured way, it was like, you could do what you felt and write how you felt. And I used to love to write poems and songs, and so, and turn, and turn my poems into songs, and so... I just loved that class because it, there was so much freedom. Uh, she would, you know, just give us an assignment and we would just go on our way with it. I just really, really liked creative writing. So I would say that writing and creative writing were probably my favorite subjects. I can tell you my least favorite was definitely math. Never have I liked math. I've never been good at it. I don't like it. Okay. Favorite animal. That one's hard for me because I like, I don't think there's an animal I don't like. Like, I might think one's scary, but I don't not like any animals. Yeah, she's an animal lover. Even if they, like, don't look cute, like, they're just, they're still a creature. They're still a living thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand, like, not liking it. I might not be fond of certain animals, so it's, like, really hard to say, Lately, I've really liked deer, but I don't. I wouldn't say they're my favorite. But which two deer scared the bejeebers out of me the other day? Okay, probably the, the three favorites: ferrets, dogs, and horses, and then cats, obviously, because kitty. Because they're so cute. Cute and fluffy and independent, and I don't have to give them all of my time. That's true. Yes, they don't need so much of... Did you take my pen? No. I had a pen right there. It was my purple pen. Oh, I did. Oh, no, I didn't take your pen. Oh, Yo, yeah, it's I did. It's not a pen. It's like a marker. It's a... It's a marker. It's a, it's a pen. It's a marker guys. pen. It's not a marker. It's a Sharpie. It's a Sharpie okay, pen. Okay, next question. Am I talking loud enough? Um, Next question. Yeah, but what was that question? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, well, you, you didn't answer. ask me what my favorite oh, animal so was. Sorry. Jeez. So sorry. Uh, my favorite animal are, is a horse. Um, I, I mean, I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. Love dogs to death. Like, I'm obsessed. But horses are like my spirit animal. Like, I just love, love horses. I used to ride horses. I was... Did, like, horse shows, took lessons. Um, every weekend afternoon, I was out with the horses. I was, you know, cleaning the, the stalls, riding. Um, anything I could do with a horse, and I still I still love horses. Uh, I just think they're just, I don't know, they're just awesome. And they're so smart, and they have such little personalities, and and I don't know. Sounds so, yeah. like you said they have little personalities. They don't, no, they have they like have the sweetest. Some yeah. some of them are so nice. Like my horse, I could literally like when putting the bridle on for the first time, it was going over his eye, and he just like just stay there and waited. Like he was so patient, and I was short. And, I mean, I'm still short, but um, I was even shorter then. 
and he used to like put his head down for me to put the bridle on like he was the sweetest he was just a sweet sweet horse so yes horses are my favorite animal okay is that you done i'm done first memory you want to go first for this one no you're gonna have okay. to because i'm gonna have to think of my first memory that's hard when we had up in the old house the oldest house the first house i think i was born i was born like up at five miles first house five miles was our first okay. yeah first five mile that was the house we lived in and we were watching a movie and i think you were probably gone because you weren't there and usually you're there yeah and I was pro I was very very young, cause I was what was I four when we left the two two, yeah. And oh yeah, we went to the other house. Okay. Yeah. Well, we and do. Dad, I thought you can't create memories so easily. And whatever, I don't you, care. My brain knew what yeah, happened. Yeah, that's fine. And um, you were very close to three though. I mean, we yeah. were so we were um, watching a movie and you went and left. And then came back with coffee coffee in, like, a tiny bowl. And he, like, put a little in it. And it was just straight black coffee. And I drank it. And that's when I was like, this is good. And then I drank all of your coffee every day. <laughs> so, yeah. She's always was sneaking my coffee. And luckily, like, I drink decaf, so it wasn't a huge deal. But um, she has liked coffee since I can remember. And we we thought we'd give her... A taste of it so that way she wouldn't like it so she wouldn't ask for it because it was just black coffee you know like most kids don't like black coffee um, most times they only like it if it's like full of sugar nope didn't work for her because she loved it okay so my first memory is my first house that we lived in and I, and I don't know, there's two. I don't know which one is my actually first memory. I just know I was only three and we, um, I was sitting, I would sit in the, it was like a recliner, I think, chair. Anyways, it was like my favorite chair and I would curl up in it and take a nap. And like, I just remember that. And then my other first memory is, of, is at my grandma's house and when we were, when she was moving, my family was helping her move and her and my grandpa move and they had like a porch that had like stairs but they had the truck backed all the way up to the porch and there was like a board going from the truck onto the porch so you could like run you could like walk it up you know walk up the board to put stuff in the truck and I remember that me and my cousins were running up and down that board and I remember my grandpa yelling at us and we got like in trouble <laughs> and, and told that we had to stay in the house because we were going to get hurt or hurt somebody else but that was one of my first memories one of those two were my first i don't know which one okay i'm done i'm done okay favorite birthday um ballerina one ballerina. not so into ballerinas anymore i'll try to put a picture in here um but but the reason is because i am obsessed with pinatas because like I get to whack something with a bat and then eat candy. Like, what's up with that? It's I want better that. better than that. Seriously. Anyway, so I asked for one. And we got a pinata. And it was just a nice birthday. And we had a really pretty cake. Mm -hmm. And you of do course. the best birthdays. And I, I do the birthday cakes. And that year I did a, um, I did a small cake for her. And then I did a, a cupcake tower. So, it was pretty cool. And it had, I've seen those, that I think that you can, like, get them, on like, online. And they, like, spin, and it plays. The candles? Song. Yeah. And yes, you had that candle that, like, good. did the, um, it's like a flower, and when you light it, it, like, opens up and has, like, all these other candles that are lit. <clears throat> and it sings a song until the very end, and then it, like, goes up into one huge lamp. It's a really, really cool. You can buy them at the grocery store sometimes. You can find them. But um, I bought that one online. But, yeah, it, it's really cute. Okay, yours? My favorite birthday. Hmm. I think it was my 16th birthday. Um, 
Or my 18th. I know for my 18th birthday, we had a big party, but my 16th birthday, um, I had a party. And the guy I was dating in high school, we we dated for all all of high school and then about a year afterwards. I got to grab it. My, I got to get a little slippy sip. I'm not drinky drink here. My throat's dry. So... So, um, so my 16th birthday, we had gone out to lunch with my best friend was there and, um, we, I had invited my boyfriend, but he told me he couldn't come and I was really disappointed that he had to work that day, all day on my birthday. And, um, so we got back to the house and, oh, by the way, he worked at Arby's, which was on like the way back to my house, like on the highway. So me and my friend used to like walk over there. You could see, you know, where his car was and all that. So I always knew if he was working. So we, we drove by and I saw his car and I was just, I was just kind of disappointed and that he had to work. So I get, we get back to the house and in the living room, there's this huge box. And I was like, you know, what is that? Because it was wrapped. You know, it was a big old present. And my, my mom and dad, they're like, well, why don't you go open it? I was like, um, I will in a little bit. They're like, oh, no, no, why don't you open it now? I was like, because I don't want to open it right now. I'll open it <laughs> in a little bit. I don't know what I was going to do or what I wanted to do. But um, I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood to open the present right then. I don't know why. But um, they're like, no you need to open it now. And I was like, okay. And so, uh, my best friend was there and my parents were there. I feel like I might've had a couple friends there too. I don't remember. But anyway, I opened the box and he popped out of the box and he got me good. Like there's pictures of me falling to the ground because it, scared the hell out of me I mean all of a sudden like I had no idea I mean I wouldn't have thought anybody would be in that box because everybody was there except him and I saw his car at his work so I didn't think it was him apparently they they had set it up to where um my dad had drove him back over to our house after he left his car there because he knew I would okay, look so we're back but what happened um the reason there was like a cutoff in between was we were you know just going along our merry way and all of a sudden my phone went <laughs> and died so yeah we're, we're trying to you know jump back in get back situated and all that good stuff so um, I am, we were talking about our favorite birthday. So basically to sum it up. Yeah, I didn't, I knew, he knew I would look about the car and because he knew that he, he got me good. We'll just say that he got me good. Um, sorry. I'm picking up some drills that I dropped last night. Of course you dropped them. Cause you do it every night. I have a habit of falling asleep while diamond painting at night time um so yeah anyways um i only need a few of those a few more of those colors anyways okay. but anyway so yes that was my favorite birthday just because i felt very oh, yeah, special sure. and i felt like somebody took the time to like really go out of their way um and you know do something for my birthday so yes besides yesterday um that would definitely be my favorite birthday. Okay, so your favorite memory with your mom. You go. Okay, yeah, your first, first, kid. Um, probably in the older house. Well, when we lived with our grandma. Uh -huh. When we, when I was like a lot younger, I was like five, I lived there too, y'all. Um, <laughs> um, we would, I would take naps because I was little, and we would go into the bedroom and listen to music and that was one of the first memories I like had in there and I just it was relaxing and nice and I don't know I just like that memory mm -hmm. yeah because she was four when we, we listened to a thousand years by what's a her thousand name? years um I don't remember who it's by I just know it was a um 
Um, what is the... What is the movies called? Twilight. The Twilight movies. Um, A Thousand Years is on that. And, yeah, it was, like, it was one of the... One of the songs I liked, it was a really relaxing song. And so I would play it, like, when I fell asleep. And, um... So she often would take a nap in my bed. And so... I would lay down with her while she fell asleep and we would listen to that song together. So, okay, now you. Um, my favorite memory with my mom. Oh man, that's hard. There's so, I mean, shoot guys, I'm 36 years old. Ha ha, I can actually say that and it's true. Um, geez, somebody just went flying down the road. Anyways, um, well, I don't know, like, if I could s pull out one moment. That's why I like baking with you. In particular. Yeah, see, that's the thing is, like, I don't know if I could pick out one moment in particular, but I loved to bake with my mom. And I don't know if that was even my favorite memory. I just, that's the first one I thought about. Yeah. I have so many. It's, like, it's kind of hard to pick one. It is hard because there's so many memories there that it's, like, I love to bake with my mom. She taught me how to bake. And one of the things that I really, I would really love to do when I was little was when, so my mom did, um, did wedding cakes. So she still does. She's the one that taught me how to do it. Well, I would sit and watch her do those wedding cakes. Um, I'd sit on the counter and watch her. Well, there was one time I was like so relaxed watching it. I fell asleep. And, um, I, I don't know. I just, I really like doing that. Because, and as I got older, my favorite memories with my mom were definitely, um, when we would shop. Like, we just had a really good time shopping together. We got along really well. Um, and we would always go every year after, uh, New Year, or after Thanksgiving, we would always go to the mall just for fun. And all of the girls would go. And... My mom and me, we just always had a, a lot of fun doing that. So that would be, I would say, probably without thinking about it for a long time, would be my favorite things that I did with my mom. So. Okay. Yeah. Aiden? Yep. Okay, now favorite memory with your dad. Hmm. Well, you go because you're up, kid. I like the river every, usually every weekend or every other weekend that my dad would take me and my brother and you came along sometimes but not that often mm -hmm. anyway up down downtown up downtown. that was more downtown. i was going through a lot more health issues downtown too. there's this river and he would take it there us there every like every other weekend usually and we would just walk sometimes we'd put our feet in the water we would uh there's crawdads down there we'd look at crawdads <laughs> Like, do the, what are they called, skipping stones, do all that. Mm -hmm. the stuff you do at a river. Yep. And they were just really nice, relaxing, being out in nature, and Dad and Alex, and we'd all play games and do stuff. So that was my favorite memory with Dad. Okay. Um, my favorite memory with my dad is, so he was definitely, like, he worked a lot, but he was also a really hands-on dad. And we, um, he would come out when we were kids and play out in the yard, like, different sports that whatever I was playing at the time and practice with me. Um, he'd come out and play in the snow with us. And we would literally, like, he would come out with me to, like, let's say throw the softball or something, practice with me. Um... And eventually we would have, like, the whole neighborhood. Like, all the kids would be there. And we would be playing this big full-on game. But one time, it was winter, and we um, were building a snowman. And my dad came out. I wish I had time to get the picture, but I don't. We came. He came out to help us build this snowman. Well, my dad, he's got to do everything, like, bigger, greater, better, you know. Couldn't just build a normal snowman. So, the body of the snowman was, like, probably as tall as I was. We had to get a, um, a long, like, 4x4 four four to roll the body of the snowman and the head of the snowman 
up onto it because it was so tall. This thing was taller than my dad. It was about six feet tall. It was huge. Um, and we had all the neighbor kids over helping and, um, yeah, we just, we all made this humongous snowman and that was like one of my favorite times that I have had with my dad. Also sledding. I used to love to sled with my dad. He would take us to the, these woods right next to our house and we would go sledding and, um, if we just had a lot of fun doing that. You done? Yep. Okay. Six so favorite food. That's hard. For both yeah. Us. That's really I hard. I recently, for me. like literally today. So two favorite things. Wait just a second. I'm gonna see if we have a favorite drink. So I'm just gonna put that one with this one. I know yours. Yes. But favorite drink and favorite food. So I just discovered hummus toast. Really like that. I think that's super good, mm -hmm. but, um, but, um, but, um, I don't know, because I like a lot of food, but, yeah, probably, like, it's really hard for me, I like a lot of food, hmm, I don't know that one, I'm gonna just say hummus toast, but that's not my favorite. It's something that you really like, all yeah. that you know that she just, just discovered today. Just hummus in today. general, everything hummus. She loves hummus. She always wants me to buy hummus, which I do. I mean, it's a healthy food, so why not? I mean, shoot, let's encourage the healthy eating habits, you know. So, if she wants hummus, she's been eating hummus ever since she was two years old. My um husband would come home from work and they would both sit down on the floor together and they would eat hummus and pita, and bread. pita bread together so no, no, no. um so ten. yeah okay my what's favorite. your favorite drink okay that's hard because i love coffee but yes, the thing is knows. about coffee is that it's not very like refreshing i like refreshing drinks. cold coffee like, is i do like iced coffee but I think cold coffee is I don't is think it's like, I sometimes, like, I can't have a lot of it. Otherwise, it'll make me just kind of, like, woozy. Yeah. And I'm doing heartburn. So, the, I, I really like Should lemonade. Push your phases, you guys. I really like lemonade. LaCroix is good. You know, I don't think I could ever say it's my favorite because it's good. But it's like it's what one? It's sparkling water. It's oh, just sparkling yeah. water. I just like it. But if I had to pick one, um, I really like these ice drinks. I yeah. Every time Black we go cherry. to um, not cherry. Every oh. time we go to Walgreens, I if I, I always try to branch out and get something else, and I never do it. Just today, I was gonna, and then I actually got both of them. <laughs> so, it's just hard. So, there are these ice drinks in black raspberry, I think. Black raspberry, okay. I thought it was black Those cherry. are my favorite. So, I'd probably pick that. That or lemonade from Red Robin. Oh, yes. We I had that last that night. For my birthday dinner, we had uh, uh, Red Robin delivered. And their lemonade has always been a favorite of mine. There's like big chunks of, of strawberries in there because we get the strawberry lemonade, of course. And it's delicious. It is. I used that cup for water just so I could get that little taste of lemonade. A hint of taste of it. Yep. It's called freckled lemonade, y'all. If you ever, get if it. you, yeah, seriously, if you have the chance to get it, um, I don't know. Is Red Robin like a big chain restaurant? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If it's not, it's like a, it's basically, it's a burger place, but it's like a sit down, you know. Family friendly place, okay. and we go there every year for my birthday. Um, my favorite food—that's really hard. I am not a foodie. Like I, I basically eat to survive. I don't survive to eat. Like I'd say I for you, probably cereal. Yeah, I weird. think that cereal is probably like because it's my go-to. It's easy. Um, it doesn't usually make me feel sick. Um. And so I really do like it, but I do have to say, like, as in, if I could eat a food, like, constantly and not have it make me feel sick, oh, Five Guys hamburgers mm -hmm. all day, every day. Like, I love Five Guys hamburgers. The problem is, is, yeah, a lot of times I can only eat maybe a like third of one. Yeah, 
they're not good for you. But that's, that doesn't matter with your favorite food. Um, but yeah, they, they just, they make me feel sick if I eat more than like a third of a hamburger. So, but definitely like as a taste, oh yeah, Five Guys hamburgers, I would say is probably my favorite. Um, and as far as a drink oh, goes, go just a minute. As far as drink goes, Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sprite has always been my favorite drink. Like, I, I just, it just has. I don't know, for a long, long time. Um, but I do love water. Like, I love water so much, you guys. My cardiologist at one point said, less water, more salt. Because I was drinking so much water that I was flushing, like, all the good stuff out of my body. So, I'm on a 100 ounces a day restriction of water. So, yeah. Okay, we're going back to mine for a second. I take what I said back. Not, I can't remember which Texas one I Texas toast is what you said. Are you going back to your drink? Um, no. Oh, what are you going back to? Oh, yeah, I should have said Texas toast. Texas toast, yes. Oh, I mean but, hummus toast. But actually, yes, thank you. That's probably my favorite. But I'm also going to say something that I eat way more, and I love just as much, if not more, probably more. Popcorn. Pizza, I don't I was like. Say popcorn is I like... do not like red, like tomato sauce on pizza. Yeah. I don't like it in general. I don't like tomatoes. I don't like that much ketchup. If it has something that has too much ketchup on it, I won't eat it. So what's your favorite? Even what are you talking about then? So I didn't like ever like pizza very much. And then, but one day, like a long time ago, I had chicken bacon what? ranch, and I was like, ah, that's a like the best because it's like doesn't have. The tomato sauce, and yeah. then I. It's a white garlic. So white. Alfredo y sauce. And then I, yeah. But then I found out spinach, and now I like spinach with white sauce pizza. Just that's it. There's no chicken or bacon on her pizza anymore. It's just spinach. spinach and white sauce, and she loves it. So, and I love that it's healthier, you know, and I like it too. So that's, and I can eat this, the white sauce a lot more than I can eat the red sauce. The red sauce, again, makes me feel sick. Same. So. Uh, but the red, the white sauce, I can eat a piece of it I sometimes too, and I'm okay. So that's okay. that's definitely a good one, uh, and definitely the best place I think is Papa John's, Papa Murphy's. I mean, sorry, Papa Murphy's, where you bring it home and you know you cook it yourself, yep. and it's yeah. Mm -hmm, mm. Okay, it's next good. one. How many kids do you want? Okay. How I actually wrote, how many kids do you? I probably like went and did something and forgot. <laughs> probably. How, you, how, how many, many kids, kids do you want you? when you were little was the question, uh, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going first. I want four or five because I want to have two or three of my own and then adopt. Mm -hmm. Because I'd like to have some of my own, but I also want to adopt. And I do not want to do adopt a baby. And I'd probably do... To adopt two, and I'd probably get, like, a toddler, but, like, an older toddler, like, four or five, and then, like, ten to, like, seven to ten. That's, like, the range I would go in, so, like, four or five. Okay. Now you go. Well, this was supposed to be, like, how many kids did I want when I was little? So, when I was little, I wanted five kids. Um, I have... Always just wanted to be, like, a stay-at-home mom, a nanny, work at a daycare, like, that kind of thing, which is all I've done. Um, like, I went to school for early childhood um, and taught in a preschool, all that stuff. Always said, yes, I'm going to have five kids, I'm going to have five kids, going to have five kids. And when I met my husband, he was on board with that. He wanted five kids as well. And then we had our son, and he was like, whoa. They are a lot more time consuming than I thought. Now, I already knew that because I was a nanny at that point. But, um, so he, then we were like, we agreed on three and I was okay with that. We thought three of our own, someday when they're older, we will adopt. Um, we were lucky to have the two that we had because doctors told me I would not be able to have kids. Um, and... Going through what we went through to get the kids that we had, losing as many, you know, when you lose six babies, getting to have, you know, your two, 
it got to the point where it wasn't, it was too much heartache to continue going through. And we talked about, you know, okay, we, when I was pregnant with Maddie, we thought, well, we didn't know what she was. No, they didn't tell us if it was a boy or a girl. We didn't want to know. But we were told by a lot of people that it was a boy because of the heartbeat and all this stuff. And I had kind of convinced myself it was a boy because I knew I wasn't going to have any more and I didn't want to be disappointed because I obviously, I wanted to have a little girl. Um, anyways, the doctors had told me it during her pregnancy, I could not do it again. My body wouldn't take it and I just could not, I just couldn't do it again. And so we obviously made the, the decision that during Maddie's C-section, because I had to have a C-section with her because she was breech, baby, um, that we would have my tubes tied. So I did, and I don't regret that decision because getting pregnant again could have put, like, my life on the line when I already have kids. I'm not going to do that, as well as, like, the chances of me actually carrying a baby to... To make it outside the womb would be very, very risky and not probable. So, I don't regret it, but it is a hard, it was a hard decision because, like I said, we want, I wanted five at first, then we said three, but to be honest, I feel so lucky, you guys, that I have the, the, three, the two that I have, and I have one of each. I have a boy, and I have a girl, and someday, I would still love to adopt um, once they're like older, older, um, and I would totally adopt an older child, but I don't want to do that while they're young because that child would probably need a lot of my attention, and Maddie already needs a lot of my attention with her um, diabetic right, care. So um, that is the long answer to a short question. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is random story. So you get to pick which one I tell. Um, oh, I get to pick yep. a random story that so you one tell. one is very, very short, and the other is longer. One, I'm going at the apartment break-in. I'm sure you probably remember. Uh-huh. And, okay, I guess there's three. They're both shorter, a lot shorter. The deer, deer, and grandma almost drove us into a wall. <laughs> it explains itself. Tick. A little bit. I have to tell that story? No, no, no. Oh, I was going to say, wait a minute. Wait, what? That, I wasn't. I have to oh, okay. I get to pick which one. The break in or grandma almost drove you into a wall. Well, I kind of. Both of those people are going to. I gonna, could technically tell both. I think people are going to want to hear them. I mean, come on. Those, both of those, like, titles bring on a bunch of questions. Okay, so, so the first one. The just tell them with the short answer, you know. Break in. I'm going to tell this one long. The other one is so short. Like, it could. It wouldn't take yeah. long. Yeah. So. And sitting at home, so mom, Beth, sound like a diamond, you know, uh, worked groundskeeping at the or at the apartments we live in, and she'd often like either have stuff in her hands or just knock on the door, and then we'd let her in, and then or she didn't have keys or whatever. And I heard somebody knock, and I just automatically get up. I usually go to the door and ask, "Is it you?" And then she, I can hear her, and then I'll let her in. And we have a little pan. We had a little we, passcode too, by the way. Um, yeah. So I was getting up, and I heard a man's voice. So I'm already very paranoid, <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, that's weird. Maybe it's just like somebody else, like Oompa." So I was walking closer, and then I heard the door handle, and I freaked out. And then they. Why didn't you assume it was Dad? Because it wasn't, it was like early in the morning. Oh, okay. Or uh, maybe not early. It was like after. Too early in the day early, to be dad. And nobody okay. was notified. And I heard a very deep man's voice that was okay. not dad. So I ran and I hid behind the couch. Now, the, <laughs> the home, the house phone, which I would have called you, but it was too far and I was also scared. So yeah. I just waited and he was doing something to the dryer. Now, I was seven and <laughs> dumb, and I assumed he was trying to take our dryer to sell it. <laughs> Gotta have those, you know how hot those dryers are on the market right now, guys. Those those stackable dryers. Woo-wee. Yep. Anyway. They're a must-have on the street. 
And so I waited and I heard him leave, but he left his stuff. Like, he didn't pick up his stuff. So I assumed he was coming back to get his stuff. And, then I and the dryer. Around the corner. And the dryer. Was, can't okay, forget that dryer. <laughs> no, I can't forget it. So I ran to Alex's room and I was like, did you hear that? And he just looked at me and was like, what? And he, <laughs> he probably, probably had his headphones was, in. He, was, he uh, probably thought I was trying to scare him because he often scared me. And I said, oh, well, I'll get you back. And then I never did. So he just kind of looked at me like, what? And then I don't remember if he heard him or if he just looked at me and like, oh, she's serious. I don't remember. But he's like, get on my bed. And I was like, no. What they had bunk beds. Back? You guys, they had bunk beds. So he so had the he top bunk. So he was like, get on my bed. And I was like, no, what if he comes back before I get on? And he were like, scrolling <laughs> about the bed I get on. So I did, was like, I'm like, no. And I jumped on my bed and put the blanket over my head. <laughs> And the guy came back in, and he was working, and we were so shocked. We were, like, shaking. It it felt like I was, like, dying. But we were done. We we thought he was breaking in, and we actually said hello. (laughs) You said hello? Why why would you do that? I don't know. Hello, we're in here, (laughs) Mr. Robber Man. (laughs) And then... Heard him Kidnapper, here we are. <laughs> we heard him leaving. <laughs> we heard him. I didn't say hello, Alex. Did, but we heard him uh, leaving. So he's the dumb one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Mm-hmm. We heard him leaving, and then our dad's voice. He said, "Oh, hi." And we were like, <laughs> "Excuse me. Why are you just saying hi to the robber guy?" <laughs> and then they greet each other. Now, can you all guess who this man in our house was? Can you guess? If you can't and you knew who it was, put it in the description below. The comments. The comments. comments. Obviously, that's what I meant. They knew what I meant. So put it in the the comments below. So who was this person? Okay, you've done it. Now get back over here. We're telling stories. (laughs) Okay, so... and. So we were like, okay, it's fine. I still am confused. But we ran out and we were like, Dad, what the heck happened? And we like told the story and he's like, it was the ground or the maintenance man. Yeah. And we were like dying and laughing and shaking <laughs> and sweaty because we were terrified. Oh, so like as, much, as funny as it is, I can say I know what it feels like to break in is to have somebody or to have a house. break in. Yeah, I was terrified, like shaking. Yeah. They legitimately were, thought that's what it was. If, Tell you you know if you were seven you would have thought the same thing you would have don't lie I know oh, it man. okay so yes the other one the other one so, grandma almost running him into a wall this doesn't sound as in a car far fetched far fetched as it sounds something that could happen any time you get in a car with that with that crazy lady my mom is not a bad I driver would not say that. she's oh we well when I'm with her. She's like, I don't know. She just obviously. Like, I don't think she's that bad of a driver, or I wouldn't have put my kids but, in the car with her guys. But, but, but. She's never been she's in an stubborn. accident. So that is her fault. So listen to what happens, and this is why I think she could. I don't think she's clumsy, but she's not like I'm gonna ram this car into that lake over there. Yeah, she is stubborn. So though, as all so get the thing out. was, we were um, going to a, a dam tour, a beaver dam. Not mm-hmm. an actual beaver dam. But I think they know that. The dam. Mm-hmm. And so they go, you go down, there's like a thing, you go in this room, it's like a museum of things from the dam. And then you leave and you drive up to the top of the dam. And we were doing that, and somebody's seatbelt wasn't on. And she was like, Whose seatbelt is it? And she's yelling at all of us to check, and we're all like, It's in, Grandma. And then we're like, Check yours. And she's like, Oh, I know. Mine. And she looked down, and sure enough, it was hers. So she was buckling it in, and I don't know, she was having like trouble or something with it. I don't know. Being grandma, and um, we were okay. So my thing. Yeah. Okay. So this but is this the car. Hand, isn't it? There you go. And we were driving towards. It. She was still going, and um. We were like, Grandma, look up. We're going to go drive them to the wall. And she's like, no, we're not. No, we're not. And then we almost did. Was she it a curve? Up. Like a curve no, right here? No, it was a whole, like, wall. Like, I know, a, but how, how did... Like, okay, so 
There's was like this a, a wall and this, this a is curve? This is a corner. And then you have to turn this way. And then you go up the mountain. Okay. So, like, there's a huge brick or, like, cobble gotcha. wall. Gotcha. I gotcha. So, she was driving towards it. And we're all in the car. And we're like, Grandma, look up. And by the time she looks up, we're like five to ten feet away from it and she's like oh crap and she like grabs the wheel and turns it and we're like oh, oh, yeah. my dad would have been mad for her doing that i'll tell you what he'd and have been like why weren't reason. you paying attention and the deer one we saw a deer at the campgrounds and it was really close and it was only a couple feet and it was really cool yeah so she's telling that story kind of fast because we had a little camera difficulty apparently my phone ran out of Sto internet, st internet, storage. internal storage, and didn't record that last part. So, um, and she's getting, she's like, I'm hungry. And so I was like, I know. Okay, we'll finish this up because this is already going to be about an hour once I put them together uh, from last night and tonight. So um, we're going to end on my random story. So my random no, story. Um, I'm trying to think of a like a good one but I think I've told you guys so many of like the ones that I would just come up with quickly but um along the lines of camping and running into things when I was little my dad used to let me sit on his lap and like steer and he had this old truck and so one time I was sitting on his lap and of course I was steering um he was still in control of, like, the pedals or anything. Because I was, like, pretty young. I don't think I could have reached the pedals. Uh, anyways, we were coming around this corner. And, um, I don't know why he was letting me have full control, guys. I was really little when we had that truck. Like, the memory is vague. I was so little. But anyways, all I remember is, like, all of a sudden, like, being off of the road and in the ditch and... Like, there was a tree right in front of us. And he slammed on the brake and stopped us from almost hitting this tree. Well, let me tell you, my mom did not let him let me drive a tr the truck again for a long time. Um, but I actually learned how to drive when I was probably 11 or 12 up camping um in like this big gravel parking lot he would like set different things like these big rocks all over and i would have to like get my way through them and back Whoa. out anyways i was an excellent driver because i learned in you know yeah i learned young and i learned well i learned how to back back up back out like all that stuff um with just my mirrors not with you know out looking behind me and everything, so, yeah, okay. um, but anyway, so, yeah, I almost ran us into the tree. Okay, so we're gonna end on this question, because this one's good, like, wow. Okay, we're, yeah. What's the most important thing in your life? What's the um, most important for me, thing in my life? Um, I'm trying to, like, capture my childhood and not just let it fly by, because for a couple of years, that's how it was, I was mostly on the internet. So I'm trying. I've been doing pretty good. Off mm -hmm. it more, a lot more lately. Doing things outside, playing with the dogs, being more active. Mm -hmm. I think quarantine has even helped me in a way. Like I've been out more. Things have been sunnier. Like even though I can't see people, I've yeah. in a way been connected from six feet apart. Yeah, six feet so, apart. Just trying to. I've been taking a my, lot more pictures too. Capture my childhood. Yeah. I don't have a very good memory, so I was, like, going to do scrapbooking to try to remember. I want to be able to remember my youth, like, when I was young. So, I've been doing things like that. She's such an old just, soul. I think just, like, trying to remember what's really important. And, like, I know it sounds very corny, but... It's the truth. I just try to, like, really am trying to ground myself and remember, like, is that the like, internet gives me happiness for a little but i'd rather be connected to my family than mm -hmm. always be on the internet and doing yeah. things like that and it's very easy to do that while you're under quarantine too yes so there's, you can't go with your friends or anything so i've just try to talk to family through the internet so i mean it's still the internet but i still want to be connected and i can't really be connected any other way because i don't want to get and i'd rather do that than put their lives at risk and yours and mine so yeah, I've just 
most important thing is capturing my childhood and remembering to stay close to my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you go. The most important thing in my life is diamond painting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all believe me for a half a second, didn't you? Probably not. Um, obviously, the most important thing in my life, you guys, um, you know, besides like my relationship with God is my family. Um, my family is very, very important to me. I would do anything for them. So, um, trying to make sure that we get through this whole pandemic healthy. Um, and the other, through the other side, I might be annoying. I might be somewhat over the top with some things, but... You know, I it's... know I might get annoyed with you sometimes, but in the end, and she I does, would rather. Oh, she does. I would very much rather be safe. Yeah, and healthy. And be annoyed. Yeah. With you for a little bit. She gets annoyed with me sometimes. If you know, it's like, like today we were at the park, and okay, while a that child was wait, my fault. Wait, yes, but while a child is thinking, they don't think the way adults think, and I understand that. Um. And I didn't say it fast enough, I guess, but obviously everything at the park is closed, but we're walking the trail, which is fine. It's safe. But there was a drinking fountain, and she, of course, wasn't going to go get a drink out of this drinking fountain. And so in her eyes, it was fine. But she's like, I want to see if it's working. So she goes to press it, and I'm like, no, 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 no. And she touches her finger to it, and I'm like, oh, girl, now you've gone and done it. Like, <laughs> you did it. You got it. And now. I was like, Oh, Maddie. And she's like, I wasn't going to take a drink. I'm like, I know, but touching it is the worst part about it. Like, you know, because how many other kids have thought the same thing or have actually done it and got a drink? And like, anyway, so yeah, I'm like, don't touch anything else. We were almost to the car. So I'm like, don't touch anything. And so we walk to the car and of course she touches the leash with the dog leash. So my mind's like, well, now she touched the dog leash. <laughs> now, so, now it's gone. She's gone. And now she's we're gone all going to die. So she's like, when we get to the car and I get our hand sanitizer out, I'm like, put your hand out. <laughs> like, And I put like this blob in her hand. I probably put four times as much as she needed. Yeah, it wasn't very easy. To and I'm like, me. you <laughs> use that all. <laughs> like, all of it. Especially on your thumb. Anyway, so she used it. And then I'm like. So then we get to the store because we had to go pick up a, her prescription. So we get to the store and I'm like, you're touching the leash. Ugh. And she's like, mom, it's fine. But in my head, it ain't fine. It's not fine. No, 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 no. So no, luckily no. we have no, Lysol no, no, wipes no. in the car. So we're good, bro. Yeah. Like we wear our masks and our gloves in the, in the store. We come back out and I'm like, put your hands out. Like we got to use more Lysol. Look, you know, so then I Lysol the car and I Lysol like all the, the door Wash handles. Wash my hands. And... Don't worry. Anyway, so we get home. The first thing I say to her is go wash, you your wash your hands. hands. Did you wash your hands yet? Cause I park, like, yes. I drop her off and I go park the car and then I come back. And so that, that's the first thing I say when I get in the car is, did you wash your hands yet? Yes, Bob. So then she got this new cup at the store and, and she's like, wants to use it. I'm like, did you wash it with soap and water? And she's like, well, it was hot water. Because normally before, you would just, like, rinse out a cup, you know, with hot water or something. I would put soap in it, but, you know, whatever. It wasn't that big a deal. But today, I'm like, no, no, no. Soap and water. Like, I ain't going to die because Wait, you didn't want to use soap and water on your new cup. <laughs> Anyways. So, yes. I'm a little I overboard, but. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, most important that. thing to me is keeping my family safe, it's obviously, and healthy through this. Safe. Um, yes, yeah, so this is her new I cut that she got. Silly, so she got some birthday it. money in the mail already. Um, even though her birthday's not until Monday, she got some, this some money, so. Cute. I just think that part's extra and it's silly looking. It's you dropped this on my on. diamond paint. I'm gonna beat you. Just kidding. Give me, give me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's pretty cute. So, that's it's her new cut. Oh, I better go and use some white It's just, just kidding. Good looking and I like it. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cute. So, yeah, we went to, uh, who we went to Lysol? We, we went to Walgreens. We got what we needed there, and we got out of Dodge, got extra, home. Um, like a fountain. My mom is doing my, like, grocery, grocery shopping for me, because she does, like, she, like, would rather be out there than have me be out there, just because of my lungs and everything. So, 
I don't really, we haven't gone anywhere in a week, you guys, which was, that's a long time for me tail. not to go anywhere, so. Look at the tail of this thing. Yes, I know, it looks Very like a, weird. it looks like a, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know like what a it turd like. coming out. <laughs> it doesn't look like a turd. It's like its body's like She got a little melting. bunny. Was it on sale? Because it's, it's a bunny. It's a bunny. Oh, what is it? A hamster? It's, what are you talking it about? Me. It has it's a, a bit. Oh, it's a kangaroo. Yeah, no okay. duh. It's a kangaroo. Well, okay, y'all aren't going to see that. Let me go up a ways. Here we go. It's a kangaroo. It's got a little pouch. It's very soft. She loves these pillowy stuffed animals. Like, loves them. She uses them all the time. That's so she awesome. she bought some stuff with her money there. Um, it's a... I got a fountain. It's a plant. squishmallow. <laughs> it's a squishmallow. That's what it's called. It's a squishmallow. That's a little off the tongue. Anyways. Right okay, you guys. So we're going to end this. Um... So that I can get this done. I'm hoping to get this in time for uh, Mrs. Coffee's Whip and Chop Challenge. I don't know if I will be able to or not. We will see, hopefully. If not, then it'll just be a normal Whip and Chat, um, which is fine too. So thank you guys so right, much for listening. Um, but as always, don't forget, you are braver than you believe, stronger, stronger than, than you, you seem, smarter than you believe, think, and love more than you know. You are loved more than you know. No, my Yay! heart's better. Okay, you want to do your heart? Get it in the frame, then. It's in the frame. There you go. All right, guys. Yay. Keep on shining. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.